A struggle with an alligator in a residential lake. No. I don't see it at all. A stowaway raccoon in a company trailer. Keep going, it's coming at you. And a lakeside removal of an injured goose. People are just stupid and they think shooting something would be cool and it just causes them to suffer. Animals are all around us, sometimes too close for comfort. Preserving the balance between man and wildlife are the animal extractors. Florida. Alligator control agents Rick Kramer and Scott Patron are on their way to the Lake Worth area. They're responding to a call from a distressed resident who reports seeing a big gator in a nearby lake. The lady said the alligator was looking at her square in the eyes. She called it in as a four to five footer, but I, I honestly feel this alligator's gonna be bigger because I've caught a lot of big alligators where we're going. Leads into a lot of recreational lakes. It happens to lead into one where I caught the biggest alligator that I've ever caught. It was a uh, 13.8 weighed over a thousand pounds. Big alligator. When the agents arrive at the house, the homeowner is out, but neighbors tell them there are actually two gators in the lake. Louie and Ann Stowe had seen one of them behaving aggressively just two days earlier. He caught a dog, a couple dogs were loose next door, and, and one dog went swimming, and he, he, he snatched his dog and lifted it right up out of the water. And the dog got away, which is rare, and, and, and he swam. I come out, and the dog was just swimming for dear life, and he got into shore, and he got up, and the gator just sat there. But it's definitely lost all fear, and, and was like, make it, made itself the home completely. There's two gators, they've been around for a long time. They could jump up that seawall very easily. So, you know, you just yeah. have to, you really do have to be careful. Really, what? I just see them going, you can see them sometimes going up that hill and then onto the dock. Rick and Scott will try to catch the gator using heavy-duty fishing poles, but it's not going to be an easy job. Rick discovers that noisy residents have driven the alligator away from the shore. They've already spooked him. You got 20 people out here. But he's out there in the middle of the lake now. Let's try and call him, Scott. Come on. They try to attract the alligator by simulating the sound of a distressed animal, potential prey for a big gator. Didn't I tell you that gator is gonna be bigger? Hey, that's a nine foot alligator. He's too far out. Rick again tries to lure the gator in towards the shore. I'm trying to get him a little bit closer. I could probably reach him. He casts his line nearly 100 feet in order to snag the gator. Now. Holy, what luck. It ain't over yet, guys. You want to grab this run, man? I'll yeah. Can you? Go ahead. Here. Come on, come on, there he is. Hold on. Scott takes the rod, while Rick casts a second hook. Fish on. Get another hook in him? Nah, he's rolling. He's done. Maybe not. Yeah. Let him fight. Let him fight. Grab that stick, man. What do you do? Grab something? Yeah, let me grab that stick. What stick? Catch pull. Hold on now, don't, don't apply too much. Look, he went down and bit something. Yep. Don't pull too hard now. I'm not, I'm coming with you. He's in the muck. Oh, he's face forward. One of us are out, Scott. Here, hold this. My rod out. Let him out, let him out. Did he go back under the dock, Scott? I didn't see him pop up on that side. I think he's wrapped around this pylon right here, up underneath where they're standing at. Man.
He's coming back to me, coming back to me. Take up slack on this one. The gator wraps itself under the dock for protection. Here. I'll swim around that pylon. The only way to untangle it is for Rick to get dangerously close. Just a rod around the pylon, Rick? No. I'm gonna pull the gator. At any moment, the alligator could snap at him, inflicting serious injury to his face or arms. Watch your face. At last, Rick pulls the alligator from under the dock. Clear that rod for me. Tried to beat us. Scott tapes up the gator's mouth with electrical tape. With 80 razor sharp teeth, it's capable of delivering a devastating bite. The dock made it difficult. He was trying to wrap us up in the dock real quick, like. The residents are relieved to see the gator removed. You have to choose the safety of your children or Our gators. family from other parts of the country are obviously freaked out all the time. They, they see the gator reports and they're, you know, they're going crazy. But uh, they know the precautions we take and they know they're not allowed down there unless we're there or something. And I'm, I'm, I'm real cautious about it. I mean, you can't, you know, just, you live here, there's gators. Well, it feels pretty good to get him out of the community knowing that the kids in this lake are uh, gonna be safe. Once again, it's not the alligator's fault, but since the, the recent attacks that we've had in the state of Florida, we've been bombarded by calls. And uh, you know, some people don't want you taking the alligator, some people do, but it's our job to remove, remove him out of the community before he comes to danger. Having completed their capture, Rick and Scott leave the neighborhood with one less alligator to contend with.